Get right here. turn this I think it comes up right it's the gasket it's gonna go back in the same way fuck the gasket's gotta go back in like this So this stuff here is supposed to come off. I see it there yeah, just like that. This one right here is just coming off just like that. And then this one here. Is actually Shit, I forgot how that one's gonna come off. How does that one come off? It's the oil right here. That's gonna come fucking loose. I ain't got nothing to catch it. Uh, shut offs right here, so, but nothing's gonna stop it from coming out. Unless I got something to fill the hole with. I don't think that's gonna be good enough. Shit. I think I found something. Damn, that ain't good enough. Where's that? Where's that one? It's gonna have to hold the hole for a minute. So I can get this shit figured out. Alright, so let me start this. I'm still trying to figure this out how to get this thing to. So I can get it off. I think I see. Yep, I figured it out. So they should be right here, just like that. And just wiggle it out. It should it should come out now. I think getting it back on is gonna be a lot easier. And it may just pretty tough to get out. That's for sure. Jeez. Oh, bastard. been anything either, you know. It's not coming. Fuck. It's 
What the fuck am I supposed to do? This thing apart, see and find out what's going on with it. <sighs> there we go. I gotta get a little bit more force. Okay, so it's going back in like that. This one, oh yeah, it just comes right out like this. To get this back installed, you're going to take this in, put it in like this, drop it in, and then get this back in. Okay, okay now I can take the carburetor off and try to clean it. So I'm praying that the seat, because obviously it's leaking, so that means the float might be shot or the seat might be shot and I gotta cut my fucking yard so I'm gonna pull this off and see what's going on Taking this off, ah, jeez. So obviously something going on in this part where this is just not doing its job. I need to find out what's going on. Shit. Everything's fucking gasoline. This seal could possibly be shot, but I don't know. A lot of rust in it. Whatever's going on, it's not performing. So I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna blow through this and see if, and push it up and see if it's if it's doing its job. Oh, it's off. I gotta close. Open it. Blow through it. We'll push it up and see if if it's working the way it should. There's a slight leak in it. So that means the uh, fucking seat is compromised. And I believe this shit. This is different though, how I usually work on them. Okay, I see where the seat is. It seems like it's working, but I'm not sure. The only way to find out is we're gonna plug up the uh, plug this up here, and push it off for first. All right, 
Let me take this out. And I got it off, so nothing's gonna come in. Let me just test out first, make sure it's fluid. Yeah, it works. Okay. Alright. Now we're gonna see. I got the float. I'm gonna hold the float up like that. And we're gonna see if it pours. Because if it does pour through, that means the fucking float. I mean, the seat is uh, compromised. Push this over. Which is. Alright, we're gonna see if the seat's compromised. Sorry, it's just I gotta keep going everywhere with angles here. Just gonna put it up sideways. And I already know I gotta order parts for the shit and I gotta cut the shard. Up this leaking out of it, so that's a good sign. The float looks like it's doing what it's supposed to do, but it's a float shot. That's the thing. I have to shake it to see if the float might have a hole in it. Good news is plastic, so hopefully, so I need to start draining this out when I gotta put it away in the uh, winter because it comes back to the summer. It's all going to get gummed up, so I'm hoping it's just gummed up. And, uh, but it was leaking, so that tells me I'm going to need. New gasket here. Either that or it wasn't tight enough. It looks like it's okay, so I might have to tighten it a little bit more. Maybe if that's what it was. So, I don't know. Obviously, it's not leaking, so let me... Let's let it go and, and see if it comes out. Yep. Now we're going to close it. So the, yeah, so the seat is obviously doing its job. Okay, so that's confirmed. Now I need to find out if the bowl is compromised. Shit. I did not want to do that. Okay, I got the back. It was getting ready to fall out on me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake it and see if I'm going to get all the stuff out. I'm going to shake it and, and see if I hear fluid inside the float. I gotta get the I gotta get the rest of the gas out first. All right, I'm gonna shake it, see if we hear any fluid. Nope. I don't hear anything. So obviously, everything seems to be working the way it's supposed to. So I'm guessing is, I just got to clean the jets. How I'm going to do that is, it's going to just take one of these, open it, get the wire, and then put the wire through there. Go back and forth with it. And then basically just going to take carburetor cleaner, get it cleaned up and, oh shit, there I think. I don't like being out here like that. Another thing is too. This is uh, yeah. So that all that getting inside the uh, 
carburetor and clogging it up. So I think that's the only problem I got is just clogged up. Seriously. I ain't got my safety fucking glasses on. Just try to clean it. I'm gonna get a wire brush. Get all that stuff out. Sure, this is tight. Yes. Okay, I got that cleaned. I'm gonna take some gasket off, which I got right here. This is so all. That might actually work, but I got, uh, I hope this ain't all dried out. Got some gasket sealant. I'm gonna put some around this. And I'm hoping that'll be enough to keep it from leaking. Now, as we know, everything here is good to go. The seat is doing its job, and the the floats doing this job then obviously it's just I think I'm gonna order the kit for this just the, the seat and all that stuff just and just fucking change it out uh, if I'm still here next uh, summer so right now I'm just gonna just just taking a bread bread tie Pulling this all the way back. And I'm gonna send it into the jet stream. Yeah, it goes right in, just go back and forth a few times. Get all that gump and stuff out. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty clean. And after that, it was cleaner. And, um, shit. Now you get the point. Oh shit. And I definitely can't just fuck my phone up. So um I'm gonna clean this up and I'll let you see the results afterwards. Okay, right, here's the finished result. Let's see if this thing starts now. Everything's cleaned. I got the jet cleaned. I got every single hole I possibly could cleaned over the carburetor. First time taking it off like this and cleaning it. Did have a video on this, if y'all remember. And uh, I didn't even take it off to clean it, but this time I did. So now we're gonna reinstall it. And uh, it goes like this. Okay, so this part here is going to go in like this. And this part. Wait, wait, wait. Let me uh let me put the thing back on first. I have some gasket cleaner. All right, so I'm basically done with this. I'm just going to just uh 
I should get this all the way around it. Just like this. And hope that'll be good enough. Okay, uh, where's the where's the bolt? I lost the bolt. Oh, okay, I found it. Just set that around it. And I should probably clean up the bolt thread. And I'm hoping that's going to be good enough for the leak. <laughs> put this uh, the cover back on for the float make sure this is straight okay gas is already on there and I'm kind of hoping that's doing his job too now I'm gonna flip it over and yeah. that in there now just snug oops Just like that. Might have to tighten just a little bit more, but I think that'll be good for right now. Okay, now I can install. Okay, so this part here. It's gonna go on like this. Okay. And then let me get everything through. Let me let me turn the thing up a little bit. It's kinda now you're gonna send this back in. And get this thing pushed back in. It's gonna take, I'm hoping it was gonna be easier to do it, but. <laughs> Come on, bastard. I gotta cut my yard. Same f bastard going back in. Um, I think I can use something. Yeah, that should work. Boom. I, I barely even had to. I barely even had to do anything. And get it in like that. Finally got that in, and it's doing what it's supposed to do. Now. This part right here, I remember, it goes just like that, and then just slide it right into that little hole. Just like that, and then I say, I guess, close it.
Yeah, she do the job. It's supposed to be like a governor. I'm not sure. And this goes in just like this. There it is. Now we're gonna see if this thing starts. Hopefully, everything's good. Up here is just a 10 millimeter. Uh, oh, actually, forgot something. I knew something was off. So I kind of did this video so it can also kind of be like, a, you know, if I, if I ever got to take it back apart or something, then I don't know how to, all I got to do is look back at the video and see, you know, everything go back together. Oh, shit. Ah, we forgot, I forgot something again. I got the gasket. Freaking gasket. The gasket is gonna go in. Definitely wasn't like that yet. It's gonna see that little tab, it's gonna go towards the top. And I don't know if I should put some gasket stuff on this or what, but this thing's kind of beat. I didn't see gas coming out of that part, but I don't oh shoot. Damn, it hurts. Oh, wait a second. That is a fuel. That is a fuel line, right? Right there. Oh, no, the fuel line. Oh, shit. I forgot the fuel line. I'm just forgetting everything. Just, it's gonna be a little messy, but okay, I got the fuel line on. How much gas did I lose? Let's see, quite a bit. <laughs> I still got a little wind there, so. I'm just gonna push this back. Oh shit, you know what? I think this fuel line was supposed to go. Yeah, it was. It was supposed to go in on the other side. Because now it's, it's, this is in the way. So if you're going to put it back on, it's going to have to go back. I wish it was a cutoff for the fucking gas tank, but it's not. So, um, probably going to lose all my fucking fuel. Damn. Come on. It ain't no cut off for this thing. That's bullshit. Dang. Oh well. Shit. 
That cannot be in the way. No. So obviously it goes back there. So I gotta put it through this hole, but I'm leaking gas. Okay, fuck it. Fucking bullshit. Use all my fucking gas over this shit. All because they didn't put a cutoff switch on this fucking gas tank. So I'm trying to figure out how to get this fuel line past these moving parts. I'll get back once I figure it out. Figure out what I had to do. <laughs> I had to cut. Um, where's that thing at? I had to cut this. You know, my it was so much gas it wasn't even funny. And this was supposed this is supposed to go behind this. Originally this was up here, so you know it might have been stopping one of the things from doing what they're supposed to do i think that's why the choke wasn't working properly so i got this back behind where i believe it was that's where it was, was supposed to go and this was hanging all the way down here so i had to cut it and i still might have to cut it a little bit but it's it looks like it's okay but i ain't got that much fuel to screw around with but i'm probably gonna have to cut it again so this is kind of like more like going up kind of facing more like upward but so far it looks good no leaking and I'm gonna test it out just to see, make it out. well I don't want to flood it so I'm gonna go in and just put it back together and we're gonna see if it starts sorry this is gonna be a long video but stuff like this is just tedious as hell and I got the did I put the gasket in there this time or did I forget the freaking gas oh my god I forgot the fucking gasket again Okay, got the gasket on. I guess it looks like a shot, but let's see if it works, if I can get the job done. And I got one more bolt. Um, wait a second, that was a bolt that was holding my arm. I had to pull it up. So where is it? I hope I didn't lose it now. Oh, here it is. Yes, 
All right, here goes nothing. I only got a little bit of fuel. I'm probably gonna have to get a little bit of fuel. Oh, shit, I'm probably gonna be sick later because I didn't have gloves on or nothing. I got so much fuel. Carburetor clear on my hands. Please let it be fuel. Yes. I just hope it's not going to work out. Okay. All right, here goes nothing first. I'm going to um, open it. All right, I got it on. Now, honestly, I don't even think I should. I, I even got to use that. It should start by itself. Shit, everything is so slippery. I can't even. Got something here. Yeah, what the hell is that? I'm gonna put it in. Right there. is that mm -hmm. <sighs> maybe I need to put the air cleaner on let's see Not leaking anything. <sighs> Fuck. You know what, maybe I really need some of that to start and some stuff. Oh, 
Okay. I wonder if the gas is bad in this fucking thing. That's what I'm wondering. But that was the same gas that came out of the fucking van. I'm thinking that's probably what it is. Shit. That's probably what it is. Okay, it works, but uh, I don't know why it's it's running on choke now. So I'm not even sure what happened there. But uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> let me know if you never might know why. Maybe I uh, got something hooked up the wrong way, possibly. But hey, it works. Now I'm gonna get the yard done. I only got this much done so I'm gonna get my tools put away I'm gonna keep them out just in case something else comes up but uh let's see if we let's see if I can get the rest of the yard done <laughs> stop once only reason that stop was I had to put in the bag in but uh got it all done only gotta go two feet from here because this is not my yard so there you go Worked out. And it's got to sweep all this up here. Figured it out. Only problem was <laughs> when I went down, it's like it's only running on choke now. Because when I went to this, it shut off. So I, I don't know. Yeah, because it runs full on choke. But when I go here, it just shuts off. So, hey, as long as I get my yard done, fuck it. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching this video. Peace out, stay cool. Stay tuned to the next one. I'm going to keep putting these out. And I know this might not be... There's no way I can stay within a niche of a certain... But it's going to be more music, that's for sure. So... Alright, thanks for watching.